absentia, where a child and two others have been killed in a crash. Yeah, the driver who allegedly hit their van is now under arrest. KCAL News reporter Tina Patel is live at the scene with what we're now learning. Tina. Good morning. We are at the intersection of Orange Thorpe and Melrose just off the 57 freeway and you can see that this intersection is still closed right now. The black Honda that is on that tow truck, that is the vehicle that the suspect in this crash was driving. We believe that he was uh, under the influence. He's been arrested, a 24-year-old man, for felony DUI. Now down the street is where a couple of the other vehicles that he hit were. On top of that tow truck is a white passenger van. That is where the three people that have passed away were riding in. We have some video from last night. This all happened around 845 in the evening. What we are told is that that white passenger van was coming from a nearby church, that they uh, had a group of people in there that were coming back from Bible study. They got struck and several people during the accident were ejected. Now, a man and a woman were killed, died here on the scene. Several other people were taken to the hospital, including a 10-year-old girl who unfortunately died at the hospital. There are several other patients, uh, both children and adults, that are still being treated. This morning, we're told that their injuries run from minor to critical. As we come back out here live, the uh, as we see there, there are people here getting all these vehicles out of the construction roadway. Then investigators are hoping that they're going to be able to reopen this intersection in a short while, but we're still trying to learn more about the victims and about exactly who is involved in this. So we'll stay here throughout the morning and have updates for you as we become available. We'll send it back to you right now.